ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? I hope your quarantine is going good. You see, I got the mask on. I'm trying to be safe, try to stay six feet, 12 feet, 100 feet, as many feet as possible so I don't get this sickness. I'm gonna take this off right here, but you hear me a little bit better. Anyway, right here, 2019 Honda Civic Type R. What's the difference between the 2020, 2018? I don't know, but I can tell you right now, the 2019 has a volume button. That might be the only difference I know from the 2018, 2020, don't know yet. But as you can see right here, this is a daily driver. Look, you can see how dirty it is. This is the holy grail for Honda people. This is the car that all of us Honda owners, me an S2000 owner, and I press, trust me, I've owned a lot of shitbox Hondas with fart cans on the back before. So this car coming to the United States for the first time was the greatest. And trust me, it lives up to the hype a little bit. And so this is the... 306 horsepower, four cylinder, turbocharged engine, Earth Dreams VTEC. It has VTEC, but it doesn't have the same VTEC as we're used to. You know, the, the you know, the, the K motors that are kicking in high, the B motors, and even the F motors that the, the VTEC that us Honda guys love. Don't get me wrong, this is a great, phenomenal engine, but it, it, it just doesn't have that scream to it. I know the zero to 60 times are like five and a half, five, whatever. You could Google it, look at Motor Trend. I don't know exactly what it is, but it does get the job. In a rolling start, this thing feels like it's way faster than it actually is from a dig. It's because it's front wheel drive. It's probably not as good as uh, what the Focus RS or, or uh, a VW Golf R, something like that, but it does get the job done. It has a functional roof scoop right here. You can see it lets air in back here uh, to cool the engine because the air dam is up here or maybe it lets it in here, I don't know. Go to Motor Trend if you're looking for an in-depth scientific review. I'm just a piece of shit here who's just doing a car review because I'm bored. It's coronavirus, so we're all trying to quarantine. So the inside of this is great. It has some race bucket seats in here where, let me tell you right now, if you about to be on my 600-pound life, you don't want to get this car because you can't fit it. Even if you probably two, north of 250, maybe even north of 230, it's probably not the best for you unless you like real fit because I, I like the seat. But for some Husky people, I don't know. Steering wheel's nice, has red leather. So, you know what? Let me just pull this off and show you. So, the steering wheel here, nice stitched wrapped leather right here. Red stitch. You got the nice Honda badge on there. The shifter is real nice ball titanium type shifter in a way. And really gets the job done here. This is number 26,991. What a, what a nice number. Got the R comfort buttons and stuff over here. Brakes, three pedals. So if you can't drive it, then uh, you're up shit creek. Let's uh, start it up here. Shut this door here. We got the navigation here. Got a push button start, red push button start here. Has these carbon fiber here all through the dash right here, which is nice. Adds a nice uh, racy feel to it here. It continues all the way around here. Um, sorry for these dirty mats, but you got typer on the mats with some red outlining. On the in the back seat here, which is nothing special. Looks like it's the cheapest back seat they could ever fit. You do get the red um, seat belts. You get those all around, front and back, and it has red stitching on the back seats here. It's probably hard to tell. Let me see if I can zoom in here. You kind of see it a little bit. You get a cup holder back there. Also a race bucket seat here. So, you know, if you husky or maybe your other half's husky, you might want them to sit in the back or you might want to get another car. Here, the dials, it's electronic dial. It's not your traditional, but you do get the faux looking video game style. Up there's the sport right now. It's in sport. If you change it, it goes to R. Exhaust picks up just a little bit, and then you got comfort right there. And that's the lowest setting. That's probably what you're just going to ride in when you're going to work and stuff like that. But for the most part, the inside's pretty nice, fits me pretty well. Now, this has some big Brembo brakes on it. I mean, it's huge. They're like the size of a dinner plate. Uh, uh, look at the 
holes in the rotors there. These are some serious brakes for a car. It comes with, uh, these are cotton metal. I think these are all season tires, but I think you can get the Michelin's on there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. They are 20s. These are some dubs. These is Twinkies on the front. And on the back, it's the same. Same wheel. Good looking wheel. You got the Honda Type R badge in the front, but the brake on the back is not that big. Uh, and the it just looks like a regular rotor, but it's still pretty big for a back rotor here. Um, check out the exhaust back here. You got the, the rear diffuser and the famous, famous three exhaust. Some people like it, some people hate it. I'm on the train that I don't like it. Um, it's just odd as this is odd to me. I mean, if you like it, congratulations to you. Have yourself a cookie. But for me, ugh, don't really care too much for it. Type R back here big wing up here and carbon fiber lips and diffusers and everything else you can see right there this is the one in the back goes all the way under and these are all functional pretty much you have the one on the side here and then the one up front the one up front really it really looks good it has the red piping in it and I think all of them have red piping no matter what color you buy, but that with the Type R here, with the red piping, it really, really does set it off. And they have the, the vents up here. I don't, you can check yourself to see if these vents are functional. Let me look, are these functional? I don't know if they're functional or not, but they look pretty cool. So let me tell you, let me tell you. From here back to here, right here, all this, very good looking. Looks good. Looks aggressive. Looks proper. Looks like what you want to have in a Honda Civic Type R. The wheels, the front diffuser, the scoop, everything. All that looks good. Back here, this stuff right here looks good. But then you get to the back of it. And the back, I understand this is supposed to be a hatchback and it's meant to be a hatchback. And I think it, the 20... 20 model or 2021 model. I don't know if in the US or, or in England or Europe, whatever, they get a different kind of spoiler optional where it's like lower and flatter. I just tell you right now, the back of this car is hideous. It is ugly. This is faux. It looks terrible. Uh, I, 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 it, I feel like they could have designed it a little bit better. This stuff's pretty cool right here, but if you look at the, uh, uh, what's the Focus RS, looks good from the back side. You know what I'm saying? If you look at the VW uh, uh, Golf R, it looks pretty decent from the backside. This one, it, from up there, looks good. Back here, ugh, it's like it's like that woman you see where she comes walking at you and she looks real beautiful from the front and then you hit, hit her with one of these, you know? Hit her with one of these and it's like, oh damn, you just, god damn. That's what it's like to me. You could disagree with me, that's fine. Let's agree to disagree, but to me, does it do it in the 2019 Honda Civic Type R? Let me tell you right now, I'm just riding with it in comfort mode. And that's because I'm just going through the park right here, so I don't want to be going crazy. But it rides really comfortable. I mean, it rides like just a regular Civic. It's, it's not anything crazy. It's not hard. It's not overly stiff. Um, the only thing that I notice differently is, is the steering. It's a real tight feeling steering. Wherever you point this car is where it's going to go. And if you like that tight, steering that real heavy steering this is this is a real heavy steering even with the the amount of uh power coming out of the wheels you really don't notice it they those japanese people over there who's engineering all this stuff they're a lot smarter than us trust me and they got it right on this one the shifter is a little notchy but i, I kind of like the notchiness from it when it comes to like driving and trying to be spirited driving and all that other fun stuff. The camera's sliding left to right, sorry about that. Uh, but for the 200 people that watch this video, you know, I uh, mean, you probably not, haven't got this far anyway. I do notice in R mode, it's just a little stiffer. Not much stiffer, and I'm sure they probably tell you, it's a, it's 56% stiffer when you drive in R mode. Cool, great, perfect. I'm an everyday raggedy piece of shit driving this car. So um, I'm just telling you, it's a little bit stiffer. That's all I noticed. Let me show you something right now. Ooh. That's a kitty right there. That's a kitty. On a straight line. Oh, he would uh he would um embarrass my soul. But 
on these back roads, I might got a chance to get them. Just driving this thing overall, it's a nice car, it feels great. One thing it's missing is missing the VTEC factor. I think for your average Honda guy who likes the old school B motors, K motors, those kind of cars, it's just it just might just be too good. It might be like the Honda just worked out that little piece of rasping it. It's just it's just not that same pizzazz that you would get in a in, in an old school Civic or a, or a Prelude or something like along those lines, a CRX even. Downshift is here. You know what? Let me downshift it again. It's going to rev match. But I'll tell you one thing. This thing does go. Oh! Okay. First and second gear, let me tell you. At first and second gear, no turbo lag. I don't feel it at all. Third gear, you feel it. Come on. As soon as you hit the RPMs, you feel the turbo just whoosh you forward. It, it does it. It does it. It's just missing. It's just missing that that ghettoness. I need the ghettoness of my Honda. I need the little the little fart canish. I need people to look over at me and like, why the fuck is that car so loud? That's what I kind of miss about this. You know, it is too refined in a way. And maybe they did that when uh, they went to the turbocharged motors, but I kind of I kind of miss kind of missed that well if you watch this far thank you uh stay safe out there get your mask make one um do what you got to do um and uh try to beat this quarantine like i am by doing a car review that i haven't done in years and nobody's gonna watch it nobody cares peace out cups go <laughs>